Hello and welcome. In this video series, we are going to look at how to handle drop downs. You may hear drop down menu, drop down list, or drop down the box. Either name is okay. First is selecting values from a drop down, then getting values from a drop down, and the last is deselecting values from a drop down. Drop downs are common elements, but they are not all created the same. Most drop downs contain a select tag name. However, there are cases when the drop down may not contain a select tag name. For example, when I inspect this second element, it contains a span tag name. This series will focus on the select tag name, although a drop down can be other tag names. Let's start with selecting values from a drop down. Our first application is orange HRM. We are going to select options from job title, subunit, and include. Inspect the drop down for job title, and we see the select tag with an ID value of imp search job title. Go to Eclipse. Selenium has a class called select that helps with selecting options from a drop down. There are two ways to find a drop down and select an element from the drop down. The first way is to find the web element, then add the select class that takes the web element. The second way is to start with the select class, then add the web element. I will use the first way on job title, then use the second way on subunit and include driver dot find element by id paste the value then assign it to a web element with an object of find job title select is the class provided by selenium select job title is the object new select new select is a constructor that receives a web element hover over the error and it states the constructor select is undefined it's undefined because we have not added find job title as the web element the purpose of a select constructor is to make sure the element is located in a select tag. If it is not located in a select tag, then an unexpected tag name exception is thrown. Now, let's select an option from the job title dropdown. Write select job title dot, and we see a lot of methods. However, there are three methods for selecting an option. Let's write select and the methods are select by index, select by value and select by visible text. Start with select by index, which selects the option at the given index. All indexes begin with zero. Go back to the AUT and inspect the options. Index zero is all. Index one is account clerk. And index two is CEO. Let's select index one, which is account clerk. Go back to the Eclipse IDE. Select job title by select by index one. Account clerk. The next drop down is subunit. Write select select subunit equals new select. Now let's go to the AUT 
and get the web elements for subunit. ID is imp search subunit. Let's look at the options. We see zero, four, five, six, and seven. Let's use six for IT. Go back to Eclipse and write driver dot find element by ID. Paste the value. The next method will be select by value. So we write select subunit dot select by value. It select all options that have a value matching the argument. Notice the parameter is a string. Therefore, we write six in double quotes. The last dropdown is include. Inspect. And the ID is imp search termination. Look how the dropdown shows the same information as the option tags. This is the visible text. We are going to use past employees only. Go to Eclipse. Select, select, include. Equal, new, select. Driver dot find element by ID. Paste the value. Select include dot select by visible text. This description states select all options that display text matching the argument. Past employees only. We should see accounts clerk, IT, and past employees only in the drop down after running the program. All of the expected values are selected on the AUT. That's it for selecting a value from a drop down list. Next is getting values from a drop down. Online courses coming soon. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And Test NG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.